Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Steffi spoke with Ridge Forrester over the phone about going to Monaco without her, so she told him to go with Brooke Logan and then headed back to Forrester Creations. In the CEO office, Hope Logan concealed Steffi's passport on the desk as Carter Walton entered. Although Hope played like she agreed with Carter about Steffi, Brooke and Ridge's combined vacation being a good thing, she mumbled about all the necessary people being there when he was gone. When Steffi arrived, Hope played dumb about the passport and expressed confusion about why Steffi wasn't on an aircraft to Monaco right now. Once Steffi spotted the passport on her desk, she observed that she couldn't board the airline without it. Steffi also pointed out that Hope got what she wanted as Brooke and Ridge were on their way to Monaco without her. Hope donned a melancholy smile and claimed to be disappointed for Steffi. On the aircraft, Ridge was unhappy over Steffi having to forgo the vacation, but Brooke seemed ready to enjoy the quiet. At the hospital, Lee Finnegan acknowledged Poppy Nozawa had always been a manipulator in her eyes. That so, Lee didn't think Poppy was capable of willfully causing the drug overdoses like Katie Logan was alleging. After Lai restated her certainty about Bill Spencer being Luna Nozawa's bio dad, she continued to blame Shyla Sharp, Kimberlyn Brown, for the strange deaths. Katie claimed that Shyla had previously been questioned and released, Thus Lai recognized the idea that the killer was still out there someplace. At Bill's mansion, he struggled to wrap his head around Poppy's news about Tom Starr and how he could have been Luna's father. Although Bill wasn't happy about Poppy concealing secrets, he ultimately appreciated her perspective and was sorry she'd been dealing with a washed-up stalker. Bill informed Poppy that he had no qualms regarding Luna's paternity and brought her to the bedroom for lovemaking. Downstairs, someone mysterious entered and headed up to the bedroom, too. That person's foot could be seen entering the door before Bill and Poppy's intense rendezvous was sidetracked. Poppy shrieked in panic over the intruder as Wednesday's B and B episode wound up. Based on our expectations and Crew Morrow's imminent debut air date as a Will Spencer recast, he must be the one who's making this unexpected bedroom appearance. The bold and the beautiful spoilers suggest Will's return home will come with even more curveballs, so stay tuned for updates on all the drama. Once Brooke done some lingery that's part of the range, she'll show it off and get some photographs snapped for the upcoming relaunch. This photograph will only make Ridge more convinced that having Brooke the face of Brooke's bedroom again was the right call. Meanwhile, Katie Logan's study will lead to trouble for Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, who land in a tough place as Bill Spencer's ex starts asking questions about Tom Starr. Perhaps Katie will uncover an old snapshot from their music festival days and bring her proof that Poppy was connected to Tom back then. It might leave Katie with claims about Tom being a prospective father candidate for Luminozawa. Lee Finnegan insisted the paternity test was accurate, but Katie may once again express misgivings, since Tom died under questionable circumstances, Katie might even suspect Poppy of eliminating him as part of a cover-up. At Il Giardino, Bill will show up together with Justin Barber, who grow concerned as Deacon Sharp mulls over what really happened to Tom and Paul Hollis Hollister. Justin is holding secrets relating to Tom's last night alive, so he remains a hard unit suspect, and that goes for what happened to Hollis, too. The more Deacon talks about the overdoses and how someone might carry them out purposely, the more anxious Justin will sound. It's fascinating that Justin and Bill will be sharing scenes again as well. If Bill and Justin's alliance is back on, that may be another sign about whatever terrible plotting they might have done together. B and B will at least be trying to cast suspicion in Justin and Bill's direction, but it's possible they'll just be red herrings in the end. Our forecasts point to this mystery presenting some other curveballs, so we'll keep you posted when any other frightening news comes. The bold and the beautiful spoilers suggest Tom and Hollis deserve justice, so stay tuned for updates on whether they'll receive it. 
There's been a lot of buzz about Brooke Logan becoming the face of Brooke's bedroom again. Although Steffi Forrester feels it's a mistake to put Brooke back in that role, Rich the Forrester success of the relaunch will by the response to Brooke at the Fashion Summit in Monte Carlo. There will be all kinds of excitement about this Brooke's bedroom renovation, so sales forecasts will no doubt go through the roof. Once the relaunch goes well, Eric will agree to organize a party at the Forrester Mansion. We know this bash is coming up because to some young and the restless crossover data that was provided concerning Danny Romolotti and Christine Blair. Christine and Danny will be invited to this party, so they'll take a brief vacation from Danny's tour to attend it. B&B fans will see Danny and Christine get a surprise business proposition at this meeting before Danny ultimately plays a song. These crossover episodes will premiere on August 13 and August 14, but what if some terror follows the celebration? Could this be the right time for another murder mystery victim to spring up? After all, there'll definitely be lots of people drinking champagne and toasting to the success of Brooke's bedroom. It'd be easy for the person behind Tom Starr and Paul Hollis Hollister's deaths to attack again. Someone might sneak onto the grounds or maybe the killer will be an invited visitor instead. Either way, spectators might see a pair of gloved hands drugging yet another drink before a third victim turns up. It makes sense for B&B &B to keep this storyline continuing with a third target. Instead of having additional drama play out at Il Giardino, perhaps someone will keel down at this Forrester party next. Whether the next victim lies or dies, our predictions hint to some curveballs when it comes to this hard unit. The bold and the beautiful spoilers predict some surprising news will be disclosed as this story heats up, so stay tuned for updates on all the shockers. Hope Logan has revealed her crush on John Finn Finnegan and has even gone as far as asking if Steffi Forrester really deserves him. Although Brooke has tried to shut Hope's sentiments down, it's obvious to see that Hope is growing more obsessed on Finn instead. Hope just can't get Finn out of here thoughts, especially because being together with him would irritate Steffi. Brooke cautioned Hope not to follow Finn since that may develop into a major nightmare and make her feud with Steffi much worse. Nevertheless, Hope has been testing the waters with some blatant flirtation and doesn't seem to care that Finn isn't romantically interested. As far as Hope's concerned, Finn may just be a problem she can conquer if she works hard and gets clever enough. Whatever the case, Brooke hasn't told Ridge about Hope's burgeoning Finn sentiments. We understand why as Brooke has been begging Hope to get a grip before this turns into a bigger problem. Brooke doesn't want this becoming another reason for Hope and Steffi to clash, but you can guarantee Hope's Finn crush will undoubtedly snowball into serious disaster. There may eventually be a circumstance where Brooke watches Hope pushing Finn into a kiss or at least hears about it afterward. If that happens, you can guarantee Brooke won't want to tell Ridge about that either. We might see Brooke try to brush everything under the rug and push Hope to just back off while she still can. Will Brooke become part of a shocking cover-up after Hope crosses the line with Finn? It could harm Brooke's relationship with Ridge if he finds out she knew about Hope's crush all along and never informed him. Ridge might blame Brooke for allowing this escalate out of control, especially if Hope wrecks Finn and Steffi's marriage. Our B&B &B predictions imply that Brooke and Ridge's romance might be ruined if they aren't careful, so keep watching for updates on how Hope's dangerous behavior can affect them too. The bold and the beautiful spoilers predict Ridge and Brooke will celebrate their love in Monte Carlo, but it could act as the quiet before the storm. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the bold and the beautiful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below with your thoughts. What do you think will happen next? We love hearing from you.